Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Goblins, and when last we left off, Dwayne, Bobo, and Hooter are trying to make their escape from the evil wizard's home. The evil wizard is right here, casting an evil spell in an evil cauldron, and stirring it with a very evil stirring spoon. We could just walk past and go over to here. I get a feeling, however, that that is not going to work, but for the sake of experimentation, let us see if that works. You'll notice that I don't have the bird core yet, because uh, loading up using a password brings you right to the beginning of a screen. Let's see what happens if we try to walk past. I was expecting to get hurt rather than killed, but to be fair, the wizard really doesn't want us to get away, so the wizard zapping us into a pile of dust makes sense. Let us get that uh, bird call again, and see if we can do something with it. First, we'll drop the elixir. We don't need it now, but I'm pretty sure we'll need it later. You now have a bird call. Up you go, Dwayne! Time to get the attention of a bird using it. That's what I imagine it's for. Let's try it! That certainly worked! A bird is now here and I get the feeling you two are going to be needed pretty soon, so if you could get up there, that would be fantastic. I can't uh, tell Bobo to go up and then Hooter, because as soon as I switch from uh, one goblin to another, the goblin that was moving will stop in uh, his tracks. I could maybe get you to go away using the uh, bird call? No, you're going to stay there for now. Ah, you've moved, and you're trying to get away. No! That's worked, but we're not quite done yet. Maybe your magic is needed? Teamwork! I've no idea how that worked out, but it did! Goodbye, bird that's not yet hatched from the egg. Have fun flying around. So we have one of the three goblins over here. Unfortunately, it is not Dwayne, because there are objects here that we could pick up. That said, this being here is bad, because if somebody were to step on that, that would attract the attention of the wizard. So let's see what our magic can do. Maybe we can turn it into something that isn't a loud horn. Or we can move it. Moving it is just as good. Right, the only thing that we have now that we can use is the elixir. I don't think Bobo is going to be getting uh, over to the other side anytime soon. That said, we can move Bobo a lot closer. Still not sure how we're going to get you over. It's not like you're going to be able to engage in fisticuffs with the wizard. We'll uh, take this uh, elixir, and we'll move you pretty close as well. Not right next to the gate, though. Let's see what happens if we use the elixir. I imagine we're going to be drinking it. Either that or throwing it on the wizard. There is this mole that keeps popping out uh, of these two holes. I wonder if that's significant for something. Let's uh, give us a go. Oh, it turns you invisible. Right. Let's quickly get over here. It seems like I'm having difficulty, uh... Yeah, I was having difficulty there ordering, uh, Dwayne to go over here. But either way, Dwayne is now here. So we have two of the three goblins, safe and away from the wizard. And I get a feeling I know what I need to do with this carrot. This carrot is probably going to be used on, uh, this mole to get its attention. And now that the mole is here, the only thing we can do is either feed it the elixir, or use some magic. Magic time! Well, that'll certainly work as a distraction. Quick, over you go, Bobo! And thus, the wizard was distracted, and the goblins could move on. Password get. Let's go! Okay, we have... A rock, more rocks, what looks like a stick, and various plants in the ground. Nice background, though. Really like that. Also like the effect of the uh, shadow here. If 
we go over here, the shadow effect is uh, still active, but I do like it. Very neat. Let us see what we can do. I imagine that is a stick, and considering that uh, we don't have any more uh, items in our inventory at present, there's really no problem with us picking this up. There we go. So, we have rocks. I wonder if we're meant to do something with these rocks. Magic, maybe? Casting magic on any of these rocks is a bad idea, though. A really bad idea. It'll just make it fall down. Why not this one? ah ha, -ha! We have a ladder! And that is really good! Okay. Let us, uh, go up here, and I see that there is a tiny little circle there. And I bet that's where the stick needs to go. Marvelous! The stone gave us a... watering... can. I've no idea how the magic of goblins works, but I'm really glad that, uh, we have this magic, on our side at least. Okay. We have a watering can, and I imagine we're going to have to water all of these plants. Hmm. This is probably where we're going to lose lots of health, I imagine, because some of these will be wrong. And I won't like it if that is the case, because I don't want to, uh, keep having to retry this screen. I don't have that much health, and I can't afford to lose that much of it. Okay. Let us, uh, water the plants, I suppose. Do we have to water all of them individually? I think we do! So let's just water all of them. Okay, that one has grown. That one has grown. These are giant carrots, aren't they? Giant carrots! Hopefully they're not going to grow too much, otherwise we're going to be in some bother. Okay, so they've grown a little. I take it punching these isn't going to make much difference, so let's use some magic, shall we? Let's see what happens! Oh! You have a key in your nose! That is... handy, but I don't have anything that I can do with that key. Well, I could get it, uh, for ourselves. We could just punch your nose. I mean, I'm sorry, but we need that key for something. Okay, we now have a key. This is good, but I don't know what we need the key for. Okay, put that down, and pick that up. No, no, I want you to pick up the key. Is this going to be one of those situations where you can't actually, uh, reach the key? I hope you can. There we go, we have a key. Now I need to find what we're going to use this key on, though. We going to use it on a carrot, I suppose? Give it a go, why not this carrot? MAGIC! Nothing happened there. Okay, this one? Ooh! That was fortunate. I imagine some of these would have probably cost us some health. Let's use the key on the carrot. Never thought I'd say that in any game. We have a door in the carrot now. Do we go into the door? We do! There's our code. Ah! We appear to be in the home of a friend, or at the very least, somebody that is asleep, so they won't know that we're here. Let's grab this. I have a feeling I know what this is. That is a set of matches. Goblins, too, had a set of matches as well. They were used quite a bit, if memory serves. Okay, we have... matches. 
and I know one thing that we could do with matches right away, and that is like this. I don't know if that's a good idea, but I need to experiment if I'm going to figure out what I need to do. So let's light a fire. There we go. We have a fire going. Admittedly, there was a fire here as well, but we weren't going to be reaching that fire, were we? Hmm. There's a cannonball, but I don't think we're going to be doing very much with the cannonball. Let's get everybody down here for now. There's also this hanging from uh, that. And that as well. There are lots of things that we could potentially be using. But I don't think we'll be using most of it. Most of it just looks like uh, background scenery. It's still very pretty, though. The design of this screen is very nice. Okay. Let's see what happens if we... Can we punch the cannonball? Or the cannon? Let's punch the cannon first. That's what I'm thinking. Punch the cannon, and then the cannonballs. Okay, now it's aiming up. And do we need to punch the uh, cannonballs to get a cannonball? Yes, now we have one cannonball. And we won't be able to have both the matches and the cannonball, so we'll swap. If that is we can here. We have a cannonball. There we go. Do we have to put the cannonball in here? I think we do. Okay. Let's see what happens if I do this. Ah, now it's gone down. Was that what I wanted to have happen? Hmm. No, I don't think it was. I feel like we need that to be aiming up. So, let's do this again. The game wouldn't make such a, uh, a show of it going down when you put the cannonball in. So, that means we probably want it up. I want you to grab the matches, Dwayne. There we go. And then, we're going to see what happens if we light this cannon. I've no idea why there's even a cannon in here, but it's useful for us for some reason. Let's give it a go. What's the worst that could happen? A lot. Oh! We have a carrot! I forgot that there were carrots just... Oh! These are carrots! I thought for a moment that they were just, uh, parts of the, uh, cave that this house was built in. Uh, carrots indeed. Should have thought of that. But we do now have a carrot. And I don't know what we're going to do with the carrot. There's only one thing we really can do with the carrot, and it doesn't really make much sense, which is to put it in the cannon. Why are we putting a carrot in a cannon? I don't know, but it's literally the only thing that we can do right now. So in it goes. We'll uh, light the uh, cannon again and see what happens. Why can't we just use another cannonball? Well, I imagine we could, but we're not going to get very much if we do, I think. Worth a go! This is the point where moon logic sort of applies. Usually in these kind of games, your first port of call is, let's think of something sensible, and then let's think of something absolutely absurd, like firing a carrot out of a cannon. What's the worst that could happen? Many things. Oh, that was not sensible. We failed. We indeed did fail. We put the carrot in that and it burned. So we have to do this all over again. Although I think that is the right idea. So let's just quickly do this. You know what, I'm going to drop the matches up here. Dropping the matches up here means that I'll be able to more easily recover them. There we go. Then we'll grab a cannonball. Maybe the problem was the angle that I was, uh, firing the carrot at, because at that angle it just went into that fire. 
Oh, if we fire it like that, maybe it'll go into there. Oh, I see now. Are we doing this so that we can get, um... So that we can get the carrot in there so that we can wake this person up. That's what we might be doing. Oh. I don't know why we just don't, like, say hello and wake them up that way, but maybe that's not possible. Okay. Take two on Operation Carrot Cannon. I'm really surprised that doesn't wake up the person. But hey, it doesn't wake them up. Clearly cannon fire is something that they're used to. Let's grab this. Also, I'm running rather low on health, and I'm getting a little concerned about that. We have a carrot. Let's put the carrot in the cannon. You just stay there, um, Bobo. We're going to be using you in a moment. Hooter really hasn't done very much on this uh, level at all. I'm sure the time will come for uh, Hooter to be useful. There we go. Maybe this will make the difference. If it doesn't, we're about to lose more health. And I don't want that. There we go. Is he awake? Hmm. No. He may soon be awake, though. The only thing that we can do is to get another carrot. So let's get another carrot. Maybe this now is the time that Hooter needs- Oh, he's awake! He is awake. <coughs> Let's, uh, we could talk to him. That seems like an idea. See if he, uh, wants to have a conversation. Possibly not. Ah. He can't hear us. So we're going to need to do something about that. Nothing here that I can see that will help, though. Maybe we can find something that will help. But for now, let's get that uh, extra carrot. It's the only real item that we can uh, do anything with. So we'll do that, so that we can put this in here. I don't know if we actually need to do that. I get the feeling that we do. Otherwise, we can't actually reach the, uh, the cannon properly. So, do this use the matches. This is most certainly a uh, effort in busy work to get the um, carrots, but hopefully it'll be worth it. Celebration! It's carrot time! Okay, what happens if we have you turn the carrot into something else? It becomes a horn. Right. Okay. We can do something with that horn. Not sure what the connection is between a carrot and a horn. They're vaguely carrot-shaped are horns, but it's an ear trumpet that we're going to be using. Never mind, I thought it was a horn. Sort of looked like one, but I suppose they do look very similar. We'll give the rat the ear trumpet. <laughs> Ooh, we have a new item. Let's grab it. And let's see what happens if we use this mallet on the only thing that would make sense, and that is this here. It looks a lot like a gong. Hopefully that is exactly what it is. Can we just take all these things while we go to the next area? No? Oh, We have something here that we definitely want to get. This looks important. So important that it completes the level. Marvelous, and we only lost one bit of health. I'd rather not have lost any, but it is what it is. Next screen. Oh, 
Only the Statue of Serenity, transcended by Gemalor, the Dragon's Fire, has the power to break the spell holding the King in its thrall. Well, it seems like we have transported ourselves through a magical portal to a strange and unknown land. We have a pendulum, and hopefully that's going to be all that we need. And so, when we come back folks, we must find a magical MacGuffin to save the king. Of course. Of course there would be a magical MacGuffin, but such is the nature of such quests. And so... I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.